guys welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new my name is gina thank you so much for clicking on this video it has been a while since i have filmed a video about four to five months i want to say but you guys know i had to come back for candle day that's like my favorite time of the year as i know it is so many other bath and body works fanatics so today is saturday december the third i believe um it's around 7 p.m a little bit after and I went into Bath & Body Works yesterday around 8 a.m. to pick up my candles. I bought 11 candles. And right now, I'm trying my hardest not to go back in store. And so, I decided to film this video and try to get it edited. And so, hopefully, I won't go back in store and make any more purchases. Because I really don't need to, guys. I need to stay away from Bath & Body Works. Like, I haven't been filming videos, but Bath & Body Works has still been getting my coin, I'm telling you. Body care and all that. So, anyway, guys. I wanted to show you guys what I picked up at the sale. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first candle that I picked up is Fireside. And I'm so sorry if it is dark here. It is, like I said, seven after 7 p.m. here in Michigan. And so it's a little bit dark in this room here. But I picked up Fireside and I love the top on here. It's very, very gorgeous. And so Fireside has a smoked cedar, fresh clove bud, and warm embers. I don't know what an ember is. But this one to me, um, so I was thinking that it would be stronger than it is. But it smells like, uh, it does smell smoky, but I'm more so getting vanilla more than anything. So it's like a smoky vanilla. But I, I'm hoping that it's going to be a strong projector once I burn this. And I'm pretty sure it will be. Um, I don't really know if it's, I think Fireside Marshmallow. I don't know if it's a repackage of it or not. But I think that this one is a little bit smokier than Fireside Marshmallow. So we shall see. Okay. That is candle number one. Okay, candle number two is one that I have owned before. And I was excited to pick this up again. I probably should have got two of them because it's so, so good. This is the Hanukkah Wood and Lavender. Hanukkah Wood and Lavender has Hanukkah Wood, Fresh Lavender, and a hint of coconut. And guys, oh my God, I'm telling you, this one smells so good. Sm smells so fresh and clean. I want to say that this is a year-round scent because, yes, I would burn this, like, around now. For someone who does not like those gourmand scents or those holiday cider and Christmassy type scents, it is really dark in here, guys. I'm so sorry. But but somebody who does not like those type of scents, this, this candle right here would be a perfect substitute if you wanted to burn this during the um, during the holiday season. This would be a, a beautiful uh, substitute for somebody who is more into um fresh neutral scents so i love that one next up we're going to keep it in line with the same type of packaging here this one is coffee and whiskey so coffee and whiskey has bold irish whiskey splash of vanilla and hint of coffee and uh this one reminds me of paris cafe but on a lighter note paris cafe is so strong that you can smell that one um, if you not, you don't even have to take the, the lid off. You can smell that candle just sitting around, but this one, it smells just like it, but it's just a little bit lighter. It's going to give you that same type of coffee effect though. Love that one. All right. Next up we have a linen and lavender. This is a fan fave as well. This one, I believe is sold out online right now. This one has crisp linen, crisp linen, lavender sea salt, fresh air breeze. And this is another one of those fresh scents. It's kind of like Hanukkah, but Hanukkah is much stronger to me. And this one is one that you can just... I think that this is perfect for a gift. This is one that's not going to offend anybody. It's not super, super strong, but it's it's like strong enough to where it's going to project. And you're going to get your money's worth, but it's not headache-inducing. Um, I think that anybody would like this candle. Man, woman, dog, cat anybody it's not gonna it's not gonna hurt anybody and nobody's gonna say it's super offensive or it stinks or it's loud um everybody's gonna enjoy this candle so i think that this one is perfect to gift and even if it was loud, i think it would be perfect to gift like pumpkin pecan waffles i think that that is a great starter candle for anybody who wants to get their money's worth that one is a good one all right so we did four next up this is a leather and brandy and i believe that this one is out in uh, the men's body care line i might have to pick that up for my son this one has warm leather amber woods and aged brandy yes this is a beautiful beautiful masculine like woodsy scent 
Oh, yeah. I'll definitely be picking this one up in the body care. I love this smell. I just love me a good woodsy masculine scent. There is nothing like it. Uh, this is along the lines, like along the lines, but not same like along the lines of mahogany teak wood, but not as strong. A lot of people um, don't like mahogany. A lot of people love mahogany teak wood, but a lot of people don't because it's too strong. I know they have the intense version and the regular version, and even the regular version is really, really strong. I think that leather and brandy would be a great substitute if you don't want that strong, okay? So moving along, we have apple wood and clove. Also, same simple packaging. I love the simplicity of these packagings because, as you can see, I have not, so far, I have not shown you any Christmas holiday-like packaging because I don't know when I'm going to burn them. I'm probably not going to get through these the month of December, and some of these I don't even want to burn right now. So, I go for the more simpler packaging. So, this applewood and cloves has rich applewood, warm clove, white birch, and... Mm, this one smells so good. This one reminds me of Harvest Gathering. Yes, it does. Um, and I have two Harvest Gatherings left from the last candle day. I bought two of them babies. And so when I'm burning those downstairs, I can burn this one up in my upper level and to get the same effect. Loving this one. All right. So next up, we have Frosted Cranberry. Look at the packaging on this. Gorgeous, gorgeous. This is the only one I want to say that I have that has this kind of like holiday packaging. Um, I also have this one in a single wick candle. I have not burned it yet. Somebody recommended this to me. It has ice cranberries, blonde woods, red apple, and tonka bean. Tonka bean. And I'm not going to lie. I love anything with tonka bean. I hope that that note rings through when I burn this. Right now, I can't really smell it. All I smell is the cranberries, but... I heard this one is a really good one and kind of like a cult favorite. So I'm excited to burn this one. All right, guys, we are down to the last four. And I have, this video is going too fast. I'm going to end up at Bath and Body Works. I need to slow it down. All right, so next up, I'm going to say that one for the last, I think. Next up, we have Bergamot Waters. And this is my second time buying this candle. I really do enjoy this candle. I love this one in the spring and summer months. This one has sparkling bergamot, pristine blue waters, sugared citrus, and creamy sandalwood. It smells really light right now. I think it's because I've been smelling all those other strong, strong, strong candles. But I could definitely smell this one in the store. I remember. There we go. Yes, yeah, just a crisp, ocean-like, watery scent. And I love this one. I think this one is also a good year-round scent. If, again, if you're not into those holiday scents those gourmand scents those foodie type of scents and you just want something crisp and clean this one is a beautiful scent to have year round next up we have got lakeside morning another cult favorite people swear by this candle i'm mad i only got one because i really really like this one this is also a repurchase for me this one has crisp autumn air a white driftwood and a hint of green apple she smells so good I was going to say she smells like fresh laundry, but she smells like laundry, like gang with apple in it or something. It smells so freaking good. This is one of Bath & Body Works' best candles. I think so. Like, my favorite candles are pumpkin pecan waffles, white gardenia, and lakeside morning. Honestly and truly. Love that one. And a new favorite that I have, I actually just got done burning one of these, is strawberry pound cake. Oh, sorry. It's so dark, guys. Strawberry pound cake. I just got done burning this one uh, this week, last week, last week. And I'm so happy to have another one. This is another one that I should have picked up uh, more of. I got I to gotta make sure my budget is right next year because I won't double. I, I really should have got, I think 18 was the limit this year. I know it was last year. I'm not really sure because I only got the 11, but I need to be buying the limit. And yes, I'm not condoning spending, spending, spending. But, you know, if you save for it and you're actually using a the product, then why not? So I should have got two of these, but I did. And this one, they, they're they going to have this one year-round. Maybe not in this packaging. I did have this packaging um before. This is the same packaging they had a few months ago when I picked it up. So we shall see. But I do absolutely love this candle. This is a strong projector. Did I say the scent notes? 
fresh picked strawberries, golden shortcake, and whipped cream. This is a strong projector. It will have your entire area smelling so good. Like you just baked um, a strawberry shortcake or something. All right, so we are down to the last and final candle, guys. I'm so excited about this one because I heard good things about it and I've never tested it before. This is the wine cellar candle and due to my lighting, you cannot see how gorgeous this package is. It actually matches what I have on, but it's gorgeous. Look at the little details there. Now, it doesn't go all the way around like I thought it did when I saw it in store, but it is still absolutely gorgeous. So wine cellar has mulled apples, fresh fig, cedar wood. Oh my God, it smells so good, guys. I, I was gonna say it smells like frosted cranberry, but this one has more depth to it. I think it might be that fig in there. That's a bit of a woodiness to it, a bit of a vanilla note to it. It smells absolutely amazing, boss. I am so happy I picked this one up because I almost passed on it, but I knew I had heard about it and people were saying that they were happy that they brought it back. It's absolutely gorgeous, so. I don't know when I'm going to burn this one, but that is it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you watched to the end, I appreciate you guys. Hopefully, I will be back with a body care video here soon. Let me know what you guys picked up from the candle day sale. If you have any of the same candles that I picked up and some other candles that you are interested in or maybe some of the candles that you passed on after smelling. Thank you guys for watching again. Have a blessed day.